you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 16th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 5 verses 1 to 16 After this there was a festival of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem Now in Jerusalem by the sheep gate there is a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida which has five porticos In this lay men invalid blind lame and paralyzed One man was there who had been ill for 38 years When Jesus saw him lay there and knew that he had been there a long time He said to him, "Do you want to be made well?" The sick man answered him, "Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me." Jesus said to him, "Stand up, take your mat and walk." At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured It is Sabbath it is not lawful for you to carry your mat but he answered them The man who made me well said to me take up your mat and walk They asked to him who is the man who said to you take it up and walk Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there later jesus found him in the temple and said to him see you have been made well do not sin any more so that nothing worse happens to you the man went away and told the jews that it was jesus who had made him well therefore the jews started persecuting jesus because he was doing such things in on the sabbath the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends Today we see Jesus back in Jerusalem for an unnamed festival. Uh, he goes to the pool near the sheep gate. John says, "If there are five porticos and the ruins of such pool have been excavated in recent times, around the pool are large numbers of people blind, lame, and paralyzed. These are the ailments that we Christians often suffer from: blindness. We cannot see where Jesus is leading us." or where we should go in life lameness and paralysis we can see but we have difficult walking difficulty walking or even moving along christ's way during this uh, lenten season let us hear jesus asking this a question he puts to the man do you want to be well again do you want to be made whole again For 38 years the man has been trying to get into the water when it is uh, uh, stirred up but someone else always gets in before him it seems that the spring in the pool bubbled up from time to time and it was believed that it had curative qualities some earlier verses of the new testament at this uh, point added for an angel of the lord used to come down into the pool and the water was stirred up so the first one to get in was healed of a whatever disease afflicted him some older people may remember this text but it is genuineness has since been called into doubt and it is now omitted jesus wastes no time rise up pick up your sleepy mat and walk the man is immediately cured and walks away again we have in the words of jesus the intimation of a resurrection to new life of which jesus is the source i am the resurrection and the life it is at the point that the legalist is stepping on his way the man is challenged for carrying his sleeping mat on the sabbath day how pity one can get here is a man who has been a cripple for 38 years and is now taken to task for carrying his sleeping mat on the sabbath the wonder is that he can do it at all it is like those people who get upset because the vestments the celebrant at mass is wearing are not the right color for the day 
or because he changes some unimportant words or because a woman is not wearing a hat or a scarf or people who carry who worry that we they have not been fasting for the full hour yes it is so easy to lose our sense of proportion for some rubrically correct but deadly boring mass is more important than one where there is a real spirit of celebration in my community and they are coming together in christ even if the rules are not being followed to the letter the man answers that the one who cured him told him to carry his mat but did not know who that person was the man is told to complete his experience of healing by abandoning the life of sin bringing body and spirit into full harmony and wholeness this is not to say that jesus is implying that the man had been a cripple because of his sin jesus did not teach that but what he is saying is that physical wholeness needs to be matched by the spiritual wholeness physical wholeness needs to be matched by spiritual wholeness the wholeness of the complete parts this is the third of jesus seven signs again bringing life and wholeness let's ask him to do the same for us also amen may god bless us